why is there something rather than nothing? The argument from contingency is one of my favorite arguments for the existence of God. I'm Zach Seckler, this is Ed here in Apologetics, and today we are talking about the argument from contingency. So, just to review here, I want to go through the full argument, premise by premise, before I get into each premise individually. This exact argument comes from William Lane Craig. So, here's the premises. Premise 1 states that everything that exists has an explanation of its existence. That explanation can be either of the necessity of its own nature or an external cause. Premise 2 says that if the universe has an explanation of its existence, that explanation is God. Premise 3 says the universe is an existing thing. Premise 4 says the universe has an explanation of its existence. And premise 5 says that the explanation is God. So, let's get into this argument. Premise 1 states that everything that exists has an explanation of its existence. The explanation can be either a necessity of its own nature or an external cause. Most things in the universe that we live in are contingent on something else existing. For example, I am contingent on my parents. And my parents are contingent on their parents. This chain goes on and on. Another example is that the mountains are contingent to plate tectonics and other forces which created them. However, there are some things, such as numbers, which are not contingent on anything else. There is no cause for the number 5. It exists by the necessity of its own nature. Also, since I'm a theist, I would say that God exists by the necessity of his own nature. God is not contingent on another being. So, the first premise, his main idea, says that everything exists because it either came from something else or it's necessary by its own nature. So if you look at anything in the universe, it either came from something else or was necessary by its own nature. Premise 2 says that if the universe has an explanation of its existence, that explanation is God. So why can't the universe exist out of its own necessity first? Because if the universe exists, it has to have an explanation. The universe has to be contingent on something. And since space, time, and matter came into existence at the origin of the universe, the universe must be contingent on something that is spaceless, timeless, and immaterial. That's God. Premise 3 is very simple. It says that the universe is an existing thing. This is very obvious. If the universe didn't exist, we would not exist. Matter would not exist. Time would not exist. So yes, the universe is an existing thing. Premise 4 says the universe has an explanation of its existence. This premise follows from the first and third premises, because since the universe exists, it therefore has an explanation of its existence. And premise 5 says that the explanation is God. This comes from all of our other premises. Since the universe exists, it has an explanation of its existence. Either it is contingent on something else, or it exists of its own nature. I already argued and said that the universe cannot exist by the necessity of its own nature. So therefore, it must be contingent on something else. Something that is outside of space, outside of time, and outside of matter. And therefore, it is God. So thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to see more of our awesome content. Leave a like. And check out our other videos. You can support us financially on Patreon. The link is in the description. You can check out us and follow us on social media. Also, the links are also in the description. I want to thank you for listening, and I'll see you next time. Remember, big questions need good answers. I'm not